What do you think when you see this? This or this? Looks pretty similar, right? So in this video, I'm gonna show you the similarities between pals from Pal World and Pokemons. I know it's creating a lot of controversy, but hey, both creatures look cute. I'm gonna find the similarities between Pals and Pokemons from Pal deck number 1 to Pal deck number 111. I just do this video for fun, so no judgement here. Starting from Pal deck number 1, Lambol. It's obvious, isn't it? Same fluffy fleece, round body, cute face, same little horn. It's just... too cute! The difference between these two is Wooloo walks on four legs while Lambol walks on its two feet. Moving on to palette number two, Catify the Cat. For me, Catify is a mix between Muse and Jigglypuff. It's a cat just like Muse, they share the same body type, although Catify is curvier, but the color and design of Catify looks a lot like Jigglypuff. You see, pink color, blue eyes, and they have the same ear. Then pole deck number 3, Chikipi. Okay, honestly, I can't find any Pokemons that look like Chikipi. But there's a Torchic in Pokemon, which is a chicken, but I don't think that they look alike. So I think Chikipi is original, made from Power World. But I don't know if it's just me. I find Chikipi looks a bit like a Pokeball from afar. Then Paul deck number 4, Leaf Monk. If you mix Pachurisu and Livon into one, it will become a Leaf Monk. As you see, Leaf Monk has the same body type like Pachurisu, while the color theme is more like Livon. But the thing that makes Leaf Monk a Leaf Monk is that they are trained to use submachine guns, so just Better be careful. And we move to pole deck number 5, Fox Sparks. So the design of these Fox Sparks looks like full pigs as they are both a fox, Charmander, because of the fire on the tip of the tails. While his fire covered feet look like Rapidash. What do you think? Don't they look similar? Comment down below. Next. Next is pole deck number 6, Fox. I don't think that's how it's pronounced, but okay. So it's a duck inspired by Paul, so it looks a bit like Ducklet. Although I need to say it looks more like the platypus in one of those curtains. I think you know which one is it. But physically, it looks a bit like Coxley, doesn't it? Then we have Paul deck number 7, Spark Kit. I think we all agreed that it looks like Raichu. Yep, the evolution of Pikachu. They even share the same tails. The fact that they are also an electric prats is what makes them very, very similar. Next is pole deck number 8, Tanzi. It has a big similarity to Pansage. From the head shape, the mouth, color scheme, ears, and even an identical tail with two leaves. The difference between these two is this one has broccoli on its head and the other one has. Also, I don't think Pansage is trained to use AK47 like Tanzi. Then Paul deck number 9, Ruby. I can't find any Pokemon that look like Ruby, so I think it's originally from Paul World. Moving on to Paul deck number 10, Pangulet. This Paul design is very similar to the blue penguin from Pokemon, Piplup. But what makes it different is Pangulet's design is more complex with red accent details like a tie and also the addition of hair. Do you think these characters look the same? Then on to Pal deck number 11, Pan King. It's a penguin pal just like a Pangulet, but there's no Pokemon that looks like Pan King. So I think Pan King is originally from Pal World. Okay, let's move on to Pal deck number 12, Jolt Hawk. Jolthog Power's PAL design and Chimin's crown form in the Pokemon series are very similar when it comes to their base anatomy. The major difference is Jolthog is an electric style spike, while Chimin is a grass type Pokemon. Moving on to PAL deck number 13, Gumos. 
I kind of find a similarity between Gumos and Dido. I know they are different, Gumos is a tree sap while Dido is a slime. But if you look closely, you'll notice they have the same facial expression. Then polyp number 14, Fixie. Now you might agree with me that Fixie looks a lot like Eve. You can see they have the same fur cut around their neck and also the same body type. Moving on to Pollock number 15, Who Crates. So although they are different birds, I find Who Crates similar to Hunch Crow. They don't have a similar body anatomy, but their team is the same. What do you think? Then on to Pollock number 16, Tevent. I find a similarity between Tevent and Kevin. The difference is Tevent is a teapot while Kevin is an elephant. But you can see the similarity by Tevin nose that looks a bit like elephant trunk, and their ears also look similar. Moving on to polyp number 17, the Preso, my favorite of all. I think we all agree that the Preso really look like Esper, from their body shape, color, ear shape, and all. I think that the only difference from them is that the Preso looks more, well, depressed. Then polyp number 18, Kremis. Aside from Fixie, Kremis also looks a bit like Eve. The difference is that Kremis is more covered in fur than Eve. Maybe if Eve has cloud evolution, it will look more like Kremis. Polyp number 19, Daydream. So this pal looks a bit like Weavile. They share the same theme and just look at those little fangs they both have. So cute. Then the last palette for this video, palette number 20, is Rashor. This pal has similarities with zigzag on. You can see they have the same pattern, a zigzag one. The difference is that Rashor is a boar and zigzag on is a raccoon. But that's all for today's video. You might wonder why it's top in palette number 20. So, I will continue this video if it gained lots of attention and view. So I hope you find this video interesting. If you want to know more about other pal similarities to Pokemon, please press like and comment down below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!